Well, the stage is now set for Indiana's U.S. Senate race. Democrats today picked Brad Ellsworth to face Republican Dan Coats in the November election. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Kirshner now with the latest round in what's expected to be a political fight. It's um, with great pride, great humility, I, I accept your nomination to represent you in the Senate of the United States. No sooner had the Democratic Party officially nominated their replacement for Evan Bayh than the handshaking began. This Saturday in May considered the start to Brad Ellsworth's campaign for U.S. Senate. The first stop for the former sheriff, meeting with troopers at the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy in Plainfield. And so when I show myself standing next to a squad car, I show you in uniform, it's because it's what made me who I am and what, what will transfer to the Senate of the United States. Well, this is Ellsworth's official kickoff. The campaign for Senate actually began long before today. His opponent, Dan Coats, was the favorite headed into the Republican primary and built up his war chest for November even before the final tallies came in for May. In his acceptance speech, he threw down the gauntlet. We are going to confront Congressman Ellsworth and his liberal Washington allies because all Hoosiers and even including those who may have voted for him in the past, deserve, all Hoosiers, deserve to have a clear choice in November. The state Democratic Party wasted no time attempting to throw coats into the fire earlier this week by drawing a connection between the former lobbyists and the problems on Wall Street. He's yet to disclose his relationship with Goldman Sachs or Bank of America. Both candidates have hit the ground running in a race that's sure to draw the attention of the nation, just as they hope to get the support of voters back home. Chris Kirshner, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.